bam back pow, with another video we're going to be talking about a couple of stocks in this video as you can see by the title the first one's going to be amc amc is coming down to some crucial levels you got to be knowing is this reversal going to continue are we going to crash down we're going to go over that as you guys know i did get an amc and i did sell some yesterday for some profit because remember i'm here to be profitable that's the whole reason I'm in the market in the first place, right? We're also going to go over Mullen, Tigger Simple, M-U-L-N, resistance level I gave you guys, literally hit perfect, and it brought price back down. We're going to go over Mullen and what I plan on doing with that. We're also going to go over T-R-K-A, resistance level and buying level are about to be hitting now. Buying level is about to hit. We're going to go over what's going on with that. Tesla, we're going to go over that. feel like a bigger crash. We're going to go over Tesla. We're going to go over the S&P, the stock market in general, right? We're going to have a whole general market at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned. Smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to update later today, uh, let's get this video over 150 likes as fast as possible. Then I'll try to have a video for you guys in maybe like five hours or so, but you got to get the video 150 likes. Once you do that, I'll make an update. If you don't do it, then probably won't see a video till Sunday, okay? So it's all on you. Smash that like button. And also, Tuesday will be the deadline to save your spot for the personal trainings, okay? If you have not paid, your spot is not saved because I have to end it by Tuesday because I need two days to get everything together and then I go out of town. So I need to make sure everything's done. You have till Tuesday to save your spot. Will now at 77.gmail.com for your personal trainings, uh, 799 one time fee. To te I'll teach you guys every day to for two months, okay? Save your spot and then 16 off, 60% off the first month or your first year. That code will is about to end and then prices are going to go up. First one, AMC. Ticker symbol AMC. Now, AMC was hitting a very crucial level today that I gave to the team. It was a very crucial support level. That support level was about $4.15 down here. Okay. It did not want to break that level, which is a good sign. If that level broke, I was going to cut. So let me take that level off. Okay. But that is still a level that I'm watching. If you want that level, it's on the team. But as we had that push up on AMC yesterday, I did sell profit. I sold like 30, 40% or so, which I showed you guys. But I am looking to either accumulate more or sell the rest. It all depends on what kind of happens. But at this $4.35 level is what's going to show me. If we can break this level today at $4.35, which we're trying to get up there, that would be good. I'll hold the shares that I have because I feel like we might want to start pushing up to maybe to the $5-ish ranges, okay? That's if we break that $4.35 level. So like I said, that's why if you guys want to update after the markets close, just make sure you smash the like button. So I'm still watching that level and we still have a resistance at $5. So right now I'm kind of just trying to see whether AMC is going to push up to that $5 or is AMC, this was just a little push higher and it's just going to keep pushing down. So that's just two scenarios I'm kind of looking out for. Not much going on with AMC right now and it's still at the same price as it was at on Wednesday, uh, March 1st, uh, 15th. Still at the same level. So it hasn't done much. Even though it did have a push, even though I did take profit, remember you're here to be profitable, right? Again, none of this financial advice. Don't trade anything you see or hear in this video. Just some guy on YouTube. But it is stalled out. Watch that $4.35 level. I want that to break today. Then also watch $4.15. That's a support. If that breaks, I'll sell my AMC shares. But at $4.35 level and breaks on the upside, I might even buy a little more. Okay, so that's what I'm kind of looking out for right now, AMC. Let's go to Mullen, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Then after this one would be T-R-K-A. Okay, so Mullen, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. The resistance level I give you guys at 16 cents literally hit perfect yesterday. The high of yesterday was here. The price level will be here. The high was 15 cents 93. Literally hit 16 cents perfect, okay? That's literally almost perfect. And what did you see off of that? A sell-off, okay? Look at that. Almost hit it perfectly. Sell off. So what is that telling you? That's telling you that price wants to go down. So that's telling me I don't want to be buying Mullen shares right now because it's only going down. Why would I want to buy something that's only going down, right? Because the only way you make money with shares is when the stock goes up. So I'm kind of just waiting for that reversal. However long it needs to take is however long I will wait. So 16 cents is a resistance level, but we're going to move that down now to about 15 cents because I believe 16 cents has been hit. So we're going to move it down to one more cent down. 15 cents is the level that I'm watching out for right now. We're still looking out for support. And then second, we'll combine pressure. But right now we need support. We have not found that yet. Okay, we have not found that yet. Until we find it, that's when I'll be looking to buy. But for now, watch that level. It needs to pass 15 cents for me to even be interested and start trying to get in Mullen. Because once it starts breaking resistance levels, 
that's going to show more bullishness and bullishness. Okay. Also, we did do a play today. I did a scout play today. Today's Friday, so you want kind of want to take it a little lightly. I did an Apple call option play. This is what you get when you join the team. I love doing these scouts to bring in consistent profit. I send you guys a much strike price I pay where I'm looking to exit and what type of play it is. I sold half of those for a 15% gain, sold a quarter of those for a 22% gain, then sold the last quarter for a 10% gain. This only took two minutes to get this play in, okay? This is how I bring in consistent profit. So if you go into Apple, it's actually pulling down, right? But we actually played it on the upward side, okay? So say I had a target, like say I had a target here, right? Then once I start seeing the bullish movements, take this magnet off, entry here, exit here. This is the only move you need. This is exactly how we played Apple. Once the target is hit, right? So my target, say my target was here. I took out all my profit here. Remember, you're here to be profitable. So why are you still holding when your play is profitable and your targets have been hit? Because you know what happens after that? reversals so instead of taking the profit now we would have been on a loss if we were trying to be greedy if we were trying to hold that's something i teach you guys that's also something i'll go more in depth when you join the team use that code 16 off you get 60 percent off your first month of your first year and you get too much free when you sign up for the year that code's about to end and prices are going to go up or if you want the personal one-on-one -on -one trainings with me for two months 799 one-time fee email me will knowledge at gmail.com will knowledge 77 at gmail.com that was the Apple play we did today. Very good. And I do see some more potentials on Apple that um, we could put, uh, potentially do as well. But make sure you email me if you want the personal trainings. It ends on Tuesday. If you don't save your spot, if you haven't paid by then, it will be closed. TRKA. Now, we had levels on here that I was looking out for. Buying level and a resistance level at $0.30. Cents, buying level at $0.23. Cents. We are currently, as I'm making the video, hitting this buying level now. So we need to see, does a buying level break or does a buying level start showing pressure? If it starts showing its pressure, that will be a good first sign, but I just don't want to buy just yet. Remember the last levels I had on TRK, they literally hit perfect, buying pressure, resistance, they all hit perfect. But since a big target was hit, we have to see what it wants to do now. Because once big targets are hit, the stock is going to start moving a little weird until we get that next clear big target, and then we can start trading in that. But for now, we still have a level at 23 cents, but this level is also a support level as well. And then we have a resistance level at about 30 cents, maybe around 29. So 29, 30 resistance, support and buying pressure right around 23. Kind of still the same levels I'm kind of watching out for. I believe we have built support in the area too. So now I'm just trying to see, are we going to push up or are we going to continue falling? But I can probably update you guys more after the market close. Just make sure you guys get the video over 150 likes and then I'll update you guys. So it's all on y'all. Now let's go to Tesla. So Tesla, I do believe is going to get pulled down. Okay, I do believe Tesla is going to be going to around 155 to 160. I do plan on playing it to the downward side, but let's take all this off. So I was showing you guys what happens on Tesla. Run up, down, run up, big pull down. We're having that run up now. Is this the start of a big pull down? It could be, but we could also trade back up to maybe around 185, which, a, which is a resistance area on Tesla as well. Tesla is the number one position. I'm also looking to buy heavy shares on Tesla around 155 to 160, which I believe we are going to be going to. Now, the only way I'll change my mind and I'll turn bullish on Tesla because right now I'm bearish is if we break 185 with a lot of strength. Right. So say like this, like we come up and we just break it and we just leave. That would be very bullish. But if we break it and then we come right back down to it or below it, that's not going to be so bullish. But only that's the only way I'll turn bullish if we actually break this with a lot of pressure. Now, if we break this 170 level, which is a support level, now we're probably for sure going to be going down again. Now this financial advice, but that's just kind of what I'm looking out for Tesla. I feel like Tesla's going to have a bigger movement down. It did have a lot of downward movement here. So trying to be careful, maybe trying to get scalps down here. It already had a big movement. So you're better off just probably just waiting. All right. So that's what I do Tesla. Now the spy, the S&P 500. We have support 391 resistance at 397. We had one at like 396 or 397 that already kind of hit. So I did move it up about a dollar to 397. The stock market is bearish right now. So don't be surprised by any downward movements. That is normal. The upward movements are the surprising movements, okay? Because we are shorter term bearish. So you should be mostly looking for downward side plays. Again, our financial advice. Um, don't forget to use that code 16 off, 63 off, first month, first year. And personal training will now at 77 at gmail.com. You have till Tuesday to save your spot. Then it'll be closed. But it's still kind of the same levels on SPY. You have to notice SPY has not really come out of this range ever since like really till like 
last week on Thursday, SPY just really hasn't been doing any type of movement. Yes, it went down here and it went up here, but it's still in that same price range. It's not leaving. You see how this like left price and it went down? Right now, SPY is not really doing that. So be mindful of that. It's going to probably be a little hard trying to get swings on SPY in here because it's not really moving. It's not leaving price, not going anywhere. So just be mindful of that. Still the main levels I'm kind of looking out for. We'll see how it moves. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget, make sure you follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. I have 1,798 followers. Please make sure you're following the right one. There are scam accounts going around. I do not want you guys to get scammed. Make sure it's spelled exactly as I'm showing you. Now, some of the fake ones have like three L's, two E's, underscores. It's will.knowledge. Clear as day right here. Then always remember, no recommendation of ours. So anything just for educational purposes only.